Yo, yo, I'm Yovan Buha, Lakers beat writer for The Athletic, and we have a Lakers update. Uh, the Lakers are zeroing in on JJ Redick as the front runner to be their next head coach, according to Sham Sharania of The Athletic. The Lakers have not made a final decision yet, and there are still more steps to go in the process in terms of interviews, but all signs are pointing to Redick being the Lakers' next head coach. As I've been saying on my podcast and this channel for weeks, Redick began this process as the slight favorite, and that has only increased over the last two to three weeks. The buzz in talking to people within the organization and outside the organization has all come up. JJ, now the primary competitor with Redick over the past month has been New Orleans Pelicans assistant coach James Borrego, who has a solid rapport with Anthony Davis. The two briefly overlapped in New Orleans for about a month, month and a half. It was not very long, but that clearly left a strong impression on Davis. And the Lakers have made it known, as well as uh, Clutch Sports CEO and Davis's agent, uh, Rich Paul, that this should be more of a Davis hire than a LeBron James hire, given that LeBron may only play another year, two years, three years max in the NBA. And Davis is signed for another four years with the Lakers. Uh, So the, the Lakers are viewing this more as a Davis hire than a James hire, and they are factoring in Anthony Davis's wishes and his rapport with Borrego has clearly helped Borrego during this process and bumped him up uh, where it's it's mainly been him versus Redick uh, over the last few weeks. And Borrego just had his in-person interview with the Lakers' key decision makers and stakeholders last week in Los Angeles. Uh, Redick met with the Lakers uh, a few weeks ago. He was the first candidate to get uh, an in-person meeting. The Lakers have also interviewed Sam Cassell, Micah Nori, David Adelman, and Chris Quinn, according to Sharania. But the, the race has largely been whittled down to Redick and Borrego. Now, as far as the next steps in terms of uh, when the announcement could be official, when Redick could be joining the organization, what his staff could look like, those are all factors that are undetermined right now. Redick is going to be calling the NBA Finals, so it appears like he won't be joining the Lakers until after the Finals uh, conclude. Now, whether the Lakers make their decision during the Finals or after the Finals uh, remains unclear, but it seems like if Redick is the choice, and that is the way that this has trended for a while now, uh, he will be joining them uh, almost certainly after the finals. Who will be on his staff will partly be determined by uh, what happens with the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers coaching situation. James Borrego is among the finalists for that position. So uh, if he ends up getting that, he obviously won't be on J.J. Redick's staff. But the Lakers would love to have Borrego on the staff, uh, appease Anthony Davis, get him his guy, and bring in an assistant who has had championship success as an assistant and help develop younger players and younger talent uh, as a head coach uh, in Orlando and in Charlotte. And as far as assistants go, uh, Borrego, Sam Cassell, Rajon Rondo, Scott Brooks, and Jared Dudley are the names that have been floated uh, over the last few weeks. There's going to be competition for Cassell with Charles Lee leaving the Celtics staff to go coach the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, Cassell could be promoted by Boston. Milwaukee is also reportedly interested in him given his ties to Doc Rivers. So the Lakers are trying to make him Uh, An assistant, if he's not the lead assistant, uh, there will be competition for him to be the lead in Boston and Milwaukee, and he could be making more money in those two other situations. So Cassell might be a a tricky one, unless the Lakers can offer uh, a better position or uh, more money than those two other situations. And Brago, again, uh, is a bit up in the air right now uh, with the the Cleveland situation. Jared Dudley is obviously in the finals right now with Dallas, and uh, we'll see how that plays out and how big of a role he had and how much they want to keep him. Uh, Then you, you got Rondo, who's a free agent. I'll have more on the likely Redick hire in the coming days and weeks. I think it is an interesting move for the Lakers going with a first-time coach, uh, a coach who is not coached above the youth level. And nowadays, the youth level could mean high school or college, but in this case, it means uh, eight and nine and 10-year-olds. I don't know exactly uh, how old J.J. Redick's son is, but he is not coached outside that level. And he's, of course, played uh, 15 years in the NBA, played at Duke for four years, uh, one of the top programs in the country, 
under one of the best coaches of all time in Coach K, uh, had a high-level NBA career, has become one of the best uh, NBA analysts, uh, color commentators, podcasters, etc. He has dominated the media industry, and I think he has shown an ability to dominate whatever he puts his mind to. JJ is dedicated, he is maniacal, he is competitive, and I think those traits will make him a good coach. Whether he could be a good coach from day one remains to be seen. Uh, it is a mystery, uh, but with the potential candidates that the Lakers are looking to surround him with, with the assistant coaching staff, uh, with his stated basketball philosophies in terms of being pro analytics, uh, just his, his competitive nature and his maniacal detail oriented nature. Uh, he checks a lot of the boxes in terms of uh, what the Lakers are looking for from their next head coach. They are uh, infatuated with him. They view him in a similar light to a young Pat Riley. Uh, those are high compliments and it, it is big shoes to fill. And there's going to be pressure from day one on J.J. Redick. But at the same time, he's been preparing for this moment for years now. He has been dipping his toes in the coaching waters in terms of conversations with other teams, having conversations with coaches to prepare for this very opportunity. And I think he'll be ready. And of course, as we hear more on potential timeline and what his assistant coaching staff could look like and what the Lakers are leaning toward in terms of the draft and, and free agency and the trade market, I will have more thoughts on how all these moving parts fit together. But for now, I think it's fair to say that this was not a glamorous coaching market. I think every candidate has pros and cons. And despite not having the experience of the rest of the field, I think JJ has several traits, be it his personality, his views on the game, his playing experience, and that competitive maniacal side to him that will make him a good coach. I'm sure there will be some growing pains in year one, maybe even year two, but the Lakers are viewing this hire as someone for the foreseeable future for years down the road, not just for this upcoming season or the season after. So if they are really committing to him, and as we've seen with Frank Vogel and Darvin Ham, even if you have success in year one, Frank Vogel won a championship in year one, Darvin Ham made the conference finals in year one, uh, that does not necessarily guarantee you job security in this position. But there is a finite window with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It will likely be a two-year window. And the goal in the short term is try to maximize that two-year window. And then the goal in the long term is try to bridge the gap into the next era of successful Lakers basketball in building a winning culture and a sustainable culture that will create the next Lakers championship team. So it is a tall task. It is a lot of pressure and a lot of scrutiny. And J.J. Redick is going to be thrown uh, headfirst into the fire from day one. But J.J. Redick is aware of that. He is a smart dude. He's been talking to people. He's been going through the interview process. He's been picking people's brains. And he appears to be the selection for the Lakers' next head coach. And it seems that if this plays out uh, the way it is looking right now, uh, if J.J. is the choice, and again, all signs point to that being the case, it would likely be announced at some point during the finals, and then he would join uh, the Lakers after the finals. Though still a couple weeks between then and now, and the Lakers uh, still have to make this an official decision. Though again, all of the buzz and the intel points to J.J. Redick. But that'll do it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching and listening. For those on YouTube, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment and a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, for those listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and your podcast platform of choice, be sure to follow, download, and leave a five-star review. I'll be back tomorrow with episode 28 of Buha's Block. I will talk to you then.